Hey, hey, this is Kieran and this video is basically about how you can be that cool guy, that cool man that people, women want to be around while still actually being yourself. Now, something that a lot of the guys I coach like struggle with is the idea that they have interests that they think aren't cool and that nobody else cares about and that if they actually be themselves, the people who they meet will just, you know, ignore them reject them etc but that's really not true it's really 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 not true like even though we live in a world where certain things are considered to be cool and certain things aren't one thing that you and every man who's listening to this video should realize is that you're as cool as you believe you are and this is what i mean so yes, even though that there are certain things that people think are cool and certain things that there aren't, it's all about you and how you put yourself across. That is actually how things become cool to begin with. So if you look in this video here now, I'm in Thailand. That's me. The black man, that is me. Hello. I'm in Thailand and I'm basically partying as Captain America. I've got the Captain America shield. I've got the Captain America top. If you notice, everybody thinks I'm amazing and everybody wants to be around me. Why? Because I'm owning the fact that I'm there as Captain America. I'm not shying away. I'm not hiding it. There's no like, oh, I'm a bit nervous about the, the, the. No, none of that crap. I am there with the energy of, you know what? I am me. I love Captain America. I love superheroes. This is freaking awesome. This is who I am. Accept it or not. And there you go. And it's fun. And because of that fun vibe, people got swept up inside it. But that is kind of like a metaphor for life in general. You see, it's not about the rules. It's about your vibe. Now, the thing is this, right? We live in a world where everybody's kind of scared and everyone wants to know what the right thing is to do. So having like a little rule that says, oh, like, you know, going out dressed up as a superhero, that is not cool. Oh, that makes people feel comfortable because then they know what they can and they can't do in order to fit into the rules. But here is the thing, right? Here is the thing. If you are comfortable with yourself, like if you accept yourself for being yourself you just accept yourself for who you are that creates an energy that people can't help but be magnetized to they literally can't they freaking can't because we as people we all want to feel that about ourselves we all want to be able to be ourselves and to be comfortable within our own skins being whoever the heck we are everybody wants that but none of us do, well, it's very little. So when we meet people who are just comfortable within their own skin, it is powerful and it is magnetic, which is why the people in this video that you're looking at right now, this is why they're reacting to me the way that they are. If I was insecure about what I was doing, they wouldn't have reacted that way. But like I said, this just, this just goes into life in general, in general. So forgetting like me being on holiday in frigging thailand and blah 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 the point is say let's say for you you are at a bar and let's say you meet a woman and let's say you've got an interest you like i don't know stamp collecting that's what, actually what you like and now your assumption is oh she's a pretty woman <laughs> she's not gonna like stamp stamp collecting well here's the truth she probably doesn't like stamp collecting if she's a pretty woman that is true however However, how you address the fact that you like stamp collecting is everything. Because if you're cool and you're comfortable and you're secure within yourself and you're like, you know what? Stamp collecting is so awesome because you see this here. This is the penny farthing stamp and it's from 1777. And it was made with a special printing press that doesn't actually exist today. And it's just... And you're speaking about stamp collecting with passion. Now, one of two things is going to happen. Either she's going to get swept up into the whole vibe of stamp collecting. And she'll be like, you know what? I thought stamp collecting was silly or I knew nothing about stamp collecting. But now I'm hearing you speak with this passion. I might have to give stamp collecting a try. She is either going to think that or she's just going to be like, you know what? I'm not actually into stamp collecting, but... I admire this guy's passion. I am, admire his self-belief. I admire the fact that he's just doing his own thing. So, you know what? I'm actually kind of attracted to him. Point I'm making to you is, always be yourself. 
always be yourself. Because if you go out and you're gaming and you're trying to be someone other than you're not, there's only a certain degree, like there's a, there's a cap on how much you can enjoy yourself. And there's actually a cap on how much other people can enjoy being around you as well. Because on some level, they'll sense that you're not actually truly being authentic. And you know it too. Be you and embrace the things that make you you. Just don't apologize for them. Don't apologize for them at all. And if some people don't like it and some people won't, that's fine. But then you'll move on to other people who do. And it's really that simple. In fact, the entire reason that you're actually listening to this right now is because a few years ago, I did a challenge called 100 Women in 50 Days where I approached two attractive women on the street every day to get over approach anxiety. Now, I posted that on my Facebook, right? On my Facebook. Not unlike some internet forum where I was hiding behind an anonymous username, I posted it on my Facebook. Now, I had loads of people who thought I was amazing. Actually, no, I also did post on internet forums as well, but I also posted it on my Facebook. The point is this, I had loads of people who thought I was amazing, but I had loads of people who thought I was silly. And you know what? The people who thought I was amazing led to the formation of Game Global. Because then I met Joe Elvin and then as a result, I also met Ice White as well. And then those relationships were inaugurated, which led to what we're doing right now. The reason you're actually watching this. But it all came from me being myself. If I was too scared to offend people, oh, I don't know if I want to do this because uh, you're not supposed to do day gaming. Uh, then Game Global would not exist. Always be yourself. People are scared. People are looking to be led. Lead these people. Let them realize, let them know that you are awesome, that what you like is awesome. Lead the way. Be the king. Be the ruler. Be the leader. That's it from me. I am D-O-N-E. And um, yeah, I also, I, I coach men. I don't know if you know this, but I coach men. I coach men. I show them how to be more attractive to women. And also show them how to be more confident within themselves as well. Guess what? You're going to see a link to my coaching in the description. So click the link. Do yourself a favor. Have yourself a lovely day. Goodbye.